And now, the up to the minute crypto news. Six minutes ago, article comes out, Bitcoin historical volatile, volatility fractal points to a brewing bullish explosion. Wow, if you were long, you'd really want to believe this story, right? This just came out. Uh, basically, blah, blah, blah. Looking back at the historic volatility, a fractal pattern could be forming that suggests the price is about to blast off. Uh, okay, so we, you, I, you shouldn't even waste time with that. Here's how this podcast works. What we do is I read the outline or the title of the story, okay? And I determine whether or not it's going, we should go in deeper. So let's begin. Here's how Bitcoin could crash to 28,000. On bold data shows, well, this was came out eight minutes ago. First cryptocurrency. And again, it opens with like stupid stuff. The first Bitcoin continues to be stuck in its current range. Or range. The first cryptocurrency by market cap has been unable to display clear conviction. The bears have momentum and could go to the offset or offensive soon. This is stupid. It basically saying it could go up or down. No time for that story. Next story. Uh, Punicom set to integrate chain link. Who gives a shit? Paraguayan lawmakers to present a Bitcoin bill on the 14th. This could be interesting. As of three hours ago, El Salvador. Okay, their decision to accept Bitcoin as legal tender in June seems to be influencing lawmakers across the region, blah, 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 blah. And Paraguay is next to give people who can't afford shoes crypto. I don't know how this is going to work out, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and uh, it says, I am here to unite the Paraguay uh, people. Wait, ah, what it says is they're planning to introduce a Bitcoin bill to Congress on July 14th, underscoring the lawmakers' urgency of formi formi blah, blah, formulating a coherent digital asset. See, we're all going to a cashless society, and this is all part of it. What else we got? Uh, privacy preserving computation on blockchain could prevent bleach, uh, breaches. Okay, great. Great buy. Bitcoin trades at below at record 59% below stock to flow price model. Man, you know, if I was a noob, I would look at this article and understand what I want to believe. I would want it to go up, so I would look at this and be like, yeah, I bought the bottom. Maybe you bought a falling knife. I was here in the last bear run. And let me tell you, bear runs buy Lambos, okay? I have a, a quantitative formulation. Okay, I was able to buy four Lamborghinis in the last bear run, okay, because I was in from the before. You know, I was on the journey from 1,000 to 19,000 to 16,000 when we were supposed to go to a million to 13,000 to 14,000 to 6,000 to 3,800 and then back all the way up to 60,000 and back to 30,000. Anyway, so basically that's what it does. Ah, here's something. GBTC, this is grayscale. The unlock edge is closer. Okay, it's supposed to be. And what will remain, okay, on the Bitcoin price, what effect it has remains to be uncertain. So instead of reading this article, I'm just going to tell you, okay. On July 18th, a whole bunch of people, okay, are going to have the opportunity to dump 40,000 Bitcoin. 40,000 Bitcoin. See, these are not crypto people. These are people that got locked in. When Bitcoin was $16,000, okay? And this month on in July, okay, what's the date? I think it's the 17th, okay? Now, Grayscale unlocks 40,000 Bitcoin. People who got in at 16,000 know nothing about Bitcoin. They're stock market people, all right? They, they got in when, you know, when you get into Grayscale, it's called uh, GBTC, Right, the get Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Grayscale buys Bitcoin and they sell you shares of their trust, and you get locked in for six months. After six months, you can sell your shares of their trust. They went up in value. Okay. Now, what people don't know is that Grayscale gets a sneaky little like uh, I think they get a two percent fee. Okay, but anyway, that doesn't matter. All right. What really matters is that 
these people got in at 16,000. The price now is 30 something thousand. Of course, they're, they're not crypto people. They're Wall Street people. They've never seen anything like this. Of course, they're probably going to want to sell their profits. So we could dump because of this situation. Okay, I don't care what this guy from JP Morgan says. It's just common sense. I saved you all that trouble. Now you know all about the unlocking. Crypto options turning mainstream. Oh, and by the way, this is only going to be 15 minutes every episode. It's going to be great. But it's an experiment on my channel. So I need to have support from you. Views, likes, comments, you need to subscribe. If you're not getting notified, unsubscribe and subscribe again. Okay? Crypto options turning mainstream. Uh, that means nothing. It says it opens up with you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum options are still in their infancy. Not really. Bitcoin metric sees hell of a bounce in the move, which historically heralds BTC price bottom. Um, this is from, uh, you know what, this is somebody's opinion. Okay, you'll read about this in like Coin Telegraph and shit. Somebody's opinion. We don't read opinions. Here's a good one. Afra Crypt turns sour on investors and the flat founders flee as the court cases build. Okay, let's check this story out. Okay, hold on. All right, so we open up the page. You're going to see this on Coin Telegraph later. I get everything first. Um, so the founders are on the run. Okay, and again, South Africa cryptocurrency theft. Okay, all of these schemes and everything, they come out of South Africa now. Okay, uh, local investors in the dark, they don't know. The KG brothers claim they were hacked. The same old story, all the money disappeared um, in some kind of platform token scam. $200 million they got. Okay, and I'm scanning through, scanning through. Uh, stolen during a Binance hack, blah, 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 it's unclear, and the two brothers disappeared. The whereabouts are still unknown. The pair pre previously claimed their flight from South Africa was subsequent to threats from a number of disgruntled clients, blah, blah, blah. They, they ran away with the money. That's the whole story. Okay, that's all you need to know. Crypto in a flash. Think about it. You'll be sitting there having coffee. How great is this? Tell a friend. The biological evolution should inform how humans design markets total waste of time trust is still a must in the trustless world of cryptocurrency i don't give a shit five top cryptocurrencies to buy for july 2021 uh i don't really care i think that is all the news for today it's a short episode because there's not a lot of news on the weekend well i want to know your opinion on this nobody's talking about the truth this is going to be my thumbnail if you want to see this I need to know in the comments. I need support with this kind of content. Okay? The building in the background. It's all tied in. I know what happened. Or at least I can portray all the pieces of the puzzle so that you can find out what happened. That's the up to, up to the minute news with the Oracle. Oh, and I'll just tell you that if you listen to this, you'll hear... That the, the precarious, still stunning portion of a collapsed South Florida building has been demolished in a series of controlled explosions. The building has been completely demolished because the building was, well, somehow it blew up. So they had to take the rest of it and demolish it. Soon all evidence of this will be wiped from the internet and it is directly tied to this. So if you want to know who killed John McAfee, fill that comment box. And if you want more of this up-to-the-minute news with no BS, let me know in those comments. Those comments tell me everything. Welcome to the dark side.